All right, fam, welcome back to I Love Me, 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 another video. Today, I have another question that I had from that event that I was explaining to you a couple days ago, and so I wanna go ahead and answer this question as well. The question is, is it appropriate to ask a guy what his timeline is to get married? I'll answer that right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. Before I go ahead and answer that question, I do not want you guys to forget about my three online courses. The first one is for my super single people. You are just sick and tired of dating, but you really want to jump back into the dating space. But before you do, you want to work on yourself. So this course is going to help you understand who you are. It's going to help to build up your confidence, build up your self-esteem. So when you do jump into the dating phases, you will know exactly what you need to do, what you need to look for. The second course is for the people who are in the dating stages as of right now, and you need some help. Just getting some clarification <laughs> as what you should be doing while you're out there dating. Um, the red flags that you should be looking for, how to block, 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 all of the BS that the guys out there are shooting to you. And then finally, so you stop wasting your time because time is the only thing that we cannot get back. Okay, sis? Okay, give me a high five. Boop. Anywho, the third course is for any of you guys who are in long-term relationships or who are married and you want to bring some spice back into your life. You are just feeling like uh, the rat race of our lives the day in and day out has just kept everything so routine so mundane and you want to bring some of that laughter back to your relationship some more of that connection back to your relationship so you can bring all of that stuff back and start to experience um much more of the happy time that you want had so all of my online courses are linked in the description box below go ahead and Click on the link to this prospective course that you need. Purchase the program. And then, sis, yes, you have to do the work. Because nobody's going to do the work for you. You can listen to me all day, but if you are not working with me one-on-one, -on -one, then you are not addressing the deeper issues. And if you do not address the deeper issues, your relationship is more than likely not going to work out anyway. That's just the reality of it because most of us don't like to look at ourselves and the choices and the mistakes that we've actually made because we're too busy pointing the finger at our partners. But seriously, you take one of my online courses and you will start to seriously love, understand, love and understand yourself. And all of us can love ourselves a little bit more. Okay. So now on to her question. Is it appropriate to ask the guy what his timeline is or time frame is to get married? The short answer is yes. Now, there is a way to do this, right? So I, I don't, I personally wouldn't want you to ask this question on the first date. The reason why is because men are just scary. And that's just the honest truth, Tuddy. <laughs> <laughs> they scary and they think that just because you ask this question means that you want to get married tomorrow and you want to get married to them. Now, it doesn't even matter if Mr. wants to get married. But as soon as you as soon as this question arises, he's going to run for the hills because he's not realizing that it, it really it really is just a conversation that you are having. Me and my husband actually had this conversation. We had it pretty early on. And we both made it um, apparently obvious that just because we were asking this question does not mean that we were asking because of us two. I needed to understand and he needed to understand the mindset. And so... I don't want to waste my time and I don't recommend you wasting your time by never asking this question in the hopes that you think that the relationship is going to move toward marriage, especially if that's something that you want. Only to find out 10 months later, only to find out a year later that he never wanted to get married at all. So, yes, I do recommend asking this in the beginning, but not on the first date, maybe not even on the second date, but early on, especially 
um, after you guys have said that you want to be a couple, that's that's reasonable. You want to be a couple. You want to start dating. So some more questions need to arise. But even before you solidify and say, yes, we are exclusive, this question should arise. It should. It doesn't have to be like, I mean, uh, so uh, you get married? You want to get married? I mean, am I looking good to be married to? I mean, of course, I'm sure. I'm sure. It's, you know, not you. Your friend. Your friend is the unclassy one. Not you, honey. <laughs> But seriously, you need to ask this question. Ask it as early as possible. And a lot of things, a lot of times, I, this is what I do a lot of times. Instead of me directly asking the question because I just understand how scary men are, what I will do is if we're watching a TV show or if I'm reading something on Facebook and it's leaning toward where I want it to go, i.e. if I see something about marriage, then I will ask, my ba my boyfriend, which, you know, obviously I'm married. But in the dating stages, that's what I would do. I would ask the boyfriend, you know, what he thought about said things. And so it doesn't have to be a question that is going to like where you're going to hear a needle drop because he got so quiet or the record scratch because he's like, wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. But he's not saying this out loud, but he giving you side eye and everything. <laughs> so... Unfortunately, ladies, I do say ask, but you might have to be a little strategic behind it because seriously, and fellas, y'all know I'm not lying. Y'all scary when it comes to marriage. Even if you're looking for marriage, it doesn't even matter. Y'all still scary because guys, yes, listen up. You're not realizing that even if sis is asking this question, she does not mean you and her. She don't know you. What she does need to understand is your mindset. Where are you at? Maybe you never want to get married. I'll even bring up children. Maybe you never want to have children. These are questions that I, as the person who's dating you, need to know. That way, if I want to just continue to see you but see you as a friend, then I can do that. I need to know what our potential is. But again, something could absolutely happen where we never even make it to that stage. We might not even never make it to sex. I still need to know what your mindset is, especially since we are out here in this date, on this date with each other, or maybe even on the phone. We're trying to get to know each other, and this is a part of getting to know you, your mindset. So let me know what you would have told the young lady down in the comment section below. I love to read you guys' comments. You guys know that. Let's go ahead and continue the conversation. Of course, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if this is your very first time here because here at I Love Me Me, I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships so we can decrease that divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I love you guys. There's nothing that you can do about it. And I will see you again in a future video. Deuces.